Good morning out there in internet land. It is breezy here in Reno this morning, so I decided to come on up into the Monster Lab and talk to you about a continuation of what it was yesterday. Now, what I said yesterday, I was talking about getting things done and not waiting and attempting to have something perfect. Just going ahead with what you got, tweaking it and improving it as you go along. Very important that you don't get caught up in screwing around with stuff. A lot of people call this getting ready to get ready. It's when you buy business cards and you get your office set up just right and you want to get maybe a placard or a sign. Uh, all about letterhead, stuff that absolutely does not matter at all to making money. John Carlton, who is the most respected and ripped off copywriter living, says that this is called Operation Money Suck. And what it means is you are the one that brings in the money. You are the one that makes things happen. You have the magic to create these products and to market them and put them out there in front of somebody with an offer where you can have them send you money. That is what your primary purpose is in the business. And you're the only one that can do it. So that's what you should spend your time and effort on. Getting it out there as quickly as possible. Now you don't want to put out garbage, don't get me wrong. You don't just throw something up that's not acceptable. But you don't want to tweak it and improve it because I don't think anyone can overcome this fully. But when you're making something, you're creating a product or making an offer, you're going to lean towards what you want, what you think is the best way. This is almost always wrong compared to the market. You're going to have to find out what other people want, concentrate on that, and give them what they want. And you're never going to get it right perfectly the first time out the gate. And if you ever do, it'll be weird because you won't know what exactly made it work perfectly so it's kind of a mixed blessing anyway one of the main things about getting something out there is simplifying everything you do now a lot of people say well you shouldn't overcomplicate things I find this hilarious because overcomplicate is a complication of the word complicate you don't overcomplicate things you just complicate them if you say don't overcomplicate it Technically, what you're saying is it's okay to go ahead and complicate it. Just don't overcomplicate it. It's just, it's funny that the entire idea of overcomplification is a metaphor for what you're not supposed to do. You want to simplify things and break them down into the easiest, simplest, most clear cut way that you can do it. And this extends to your tools in your systems. If you're using something that's complicated to use, that's hard to figure out, that every time you wanna get something done, it takes you 45 minutes to figure out how to do it, you're using the wrong thing. Making money on the internet, selling something, marketing stuff is incredibly easy. You have a product or service, you make an offer that makes it so outstanding that only a fool wouldn't buy it, and then you advertise it, People say they want information, they get on your mailing list, and then you email them daily about stuff that you're talking about that they're interested in while you're being entertaining and they will love you for it. And that's how you do things on the internet. There is no necessity for a 47 step funnel that has upsells, downsells, cross sells, and all these different segments and you can get to the segments and you can do all these other things later if you feel like it. But for right now, if especially if it's a new thing that you're, that you're just putting out, even if you're an established company, you want to get it out there and then improve it as you go. Start with getting the simplest, most concrete, down-to-earth tools and systems you can that make it very easy you know what an example of this is? When I bought my first Mac, it was way back when the iMac came out 
and I was driving back then and I would deliver hundreds of these things to Sears stores all, every week, all over the place. And it seemed like every week I had more and more of them. And this was when Windows 95 was out I, and it was garbage. I couldn't make my computer do anything. I was consistently swearing at it <laughs> and going nuts. Finally, I was like, well, I gotta get a new computer. I'm gonna try a Mac because they say they're easy. And I got my, my Blueberry iMac and when I got the directions to hook it up, there were five pictures. It, so, it showed a cord going into the wall, the keyboard cord going into the computer, the mouse cord going into the keyboard, and then pushing the on button. And I was like, this is crazy. So I turned it on and started using it, but the acid test came like the next day. I had to write a letter and I got in there. I never used anything on the Mac to do this. I punched in, got in their word processing program. I wrote what I needed done. I printed it, I was finished. And at that moment, since that moment, I have never ever used another computer aside from a Mac when I could help it. And I'm a Mac Apple fanboy. I, <laughs> So I'm sorry if that offends you, but there you go. That's why, that's why I use Apple and it's why I'm convinced that the easier and the simplest you make it, the better off you'll be. And it all starts with, if you've got a tool that you've got to get something done and you can just jump in there, do it and put it out without having to struggle with learning how to use the tool that's supposed to do all these things for you, you're way, way ahead of the game. So look for the simplest equipment and tools that you can use, something that you can do things, implement with speed and shock effect, impact, and start putting stuff out instead of wasting your time attempting to figure out how to use the tools that you have. Now this one was a little long, but it was very critical to your success. Hope you enjoyed as much as, much as I enjoyed making it. Have a great day wherever you are. That's all I got for now. I'm out.